So here we've got the composition of functions, and for triple the fun, we've got the composition of three functions, g, f, and h. So we start with the innermost function, which is h. Composition means that you substitute one function value into another function. Another way to write the composition, instead of using the circle, is to use parentheses and say, well, first of all, we need to find out how much is the h function with a 1 substituted in. So the g is going to be the last thing. The f is the middle. And now we need to find out how much is h with a 1 substituted in. So that's going to be 1 squared plus 3 plus 1. which is 5. So the next thing to do is substitute that 5 into the f function. So substitute a 5 over here for x and we've got 2 times 5 plus 1 divided by 15. Evaluating this is a 10 and 1 is 11 fifteenths. 11 fifteenths. And finally, take the 11 fifteenths and substitute it into the g function. So it's the square root of 2 times the 11 fifteenths plus 6. Well, that's going to be the square root of 22 fifteenths plus 6. And now get a common denominator, which will be 15. So this multiply on the bottom and the top by 15, which is going to be 90 fifteenths. So 90 and 22 is 112 112 fifteenths then can we reduce well 15 can be divided by either 3 or 5 that doesn't end in a 5 so I know that I can't divide 5 into a 112 and the division rule for 3 is take these digits 2, 1, and 1 add them up which would be a 4 and if that's a number that can be divisible by 3, then the 112 can be divi divisible by 3. But when you add them up, it's a 4, which is not divisible by 3. So we've got the square root of 112 over the square root of 15. And now the other thing that we need to check is to see, are there any perfect squares in 112? So we could factor the 112, 112 divided by 2 is a 56, divide that by 2 again, it's a 28, divide that by 2 again, and divide that by 2 again. So there were 4 times when I divided by 2 or that's 2, 4, 8, 16, 16 times 7. Sure enough, so that's the square root of 16 times 7. And the square root of 16 is 4. So we've got 4 radical 7 over radical 15. And finally, the last thing to do is rationalize the denominator. So to get rid of this radical that's in the denominator, multiply by the exact same thing, square root of 15. But if you do that for the denominator, you need to do it for the numerator. So the denominator is going to be a 15. And now for the numerator, we've got 7 times 15 or 105. 
and I know that 105 is not going to have any perfect squares in it because this is made up of 3 and 5, and this is made up of 7. So with a 3, a 5, and a 7, there's nothing that shows up twice. So we've got 4, the square root of 105. And the 4 and the 15 cannot be reduced, so it's finally finished.